This is a guide for the second part of the Run For Your Life mission. It is called Library and this guide is on the purest difficulty. Completing the mission, this part of the mission in the way that I suggest gives you 19,200 score. That is after of course completing all the challenges in this area. At the start make sure you head on that pillar and then take down the police officer otherwise he will spot you. Be sure to take his disguise which will make later parts of this mission uh, easier and also this part of the mission uh, much easier indeed. If you subdue an enemy and then hide his body, regardless of their civilian or targets, or I mean non-targets, then they, you will get all the score back that you lose by um, pacifying them. Make have to wait on this little bit of bookshelf until that police officer has turned his back on you, then you can get past him behind these stairs. You can go around the stairs and to the top uh, walkway, catwalk, maybe, I don't know, a balcony, I think a balcony is a better word, and then drop down from this ledge here, then go forwards and pick up the radio to distract a guard. Sometimes the guard that will show up here in a minute doesn't appear, then wait for the guard that's sort of looking towards Agent 47 to have turned around and sort of walked away a little bit, then you can throw the radio anyway. The evidence is on the table underneath the statue there, and then make your way back here f between these uh, these desks and through the wall here. This is another place where you sort of have to improvise. Make sure that guy that's walking, the police officer that's standing in the light there, isn't looking your way, then change cover. Sometimes there's a police officer there. So if he is, you have to get onto this cover as soon as possible, otherwise he will detect you and don't go all the way to the edge of the cover. Sometimes none of those guards are there, sometimes they're in a different order. You just have to improvise as necessary. Go up these stairs and then around the, um, around the side here, to the stairs, and then you can sneak past this guy, he won't notice you, and uh, keep going up these stairs here. This is basically the end, you just have to follow this area around a bit. You can actually start running here, and they uh, they won't detect you. So, but uh, I think it's better if you sort of crouch walk. That just makes sure that nothing can go wrong, and they won't detect you. Don't release the candle, otherwise you're going to lose a lot of score, <laughs> and that's not very good. Anyway, the door is ahead. Once you go through it, it is the end of this part of the mission. So, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video, and until next time.